EMU Student Center is a hub for the campus bookstore, E-Zone, and most importantly, food and dining. However, there is one little nook that is dedicated to change the lives of future EMU students. Often overlooked by those who do not know what is beyond the glass doors, the Office for International Students and Scholars lies on the second floor of the Student Center and holds its place as EMU's own little United Nations. For the majority of American students, applying for college can be as easy as filing an online form and having your school mail your final grades. For an international student, applying for a four-year college in the United States is a completely different story. This is where the OISS comes to help by assisting students with advising in their unique educational goal, but most importantly, OISS is there for the more rigorous part of college, paperwork. The office also offers programs to help new students get acclimated and to spread global awareness and learning to the entire EMU community about international students. Eastern has been accepting international students since 1970, each year enrolling more students. The top countries represented on campus consist of India, China, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Canada, Japan, France, Nigeria, Iran, and Turkey. As recently as 2015, EMU had nearly 900 non-immigrant students study here at Eastern from 84 different countries. EMU's appeal comes from the majority of academic choices students have. Certain academic programs do not exist in foreign countries, which often leads students to seek a program abroad. Most importantly, Eastern gives international students the opportunity to attend a four-year college with reasonable prices in mind. Estimated cost for a full year for an international student at EMU is around $38,571, while University of Michigan's is $57,532 for freshmen and rises up to $60,484 for senior undergraduate students. Besides a low price tuition, EMU offers certain scholarships for international students, such as the National Scholars Program, which covers the cost of up to $15,000 per year as long as the student has a 15 credit course load and maintains a good GPA standing. Emily Borman is an international student advisor and program coordinator at the Office for International Students and Scholars. She sat down to talk a bit about this program and its students. We got to find the right programs that students are attracted to, and that's constantly changing. Um, where we're seeing, you know, for a while we had a lot of students pop, you know, interested in computer science, and now students are moving into the business. So it's even um, trying to keep up with what students' interests are as they develop and change. The top majors for international students are computer science, accounting and computer information system, engineering tech, clinical research administration business and management, along with economics, engineering management, and chemistry. A majority of international students are going through graduate school, 456 in 2015, compared to 398 undergraduate students. Coming to Eastern as an international student is a somewhat simple process. The first step for incoming international students is to meet academic admissions requirements based on their current educational experiences. Students must provide all transcripts from their previous schooling and transfer students must have their transcripts evaluated by educational perspective. For most of the future students, gathering the paperwork and getting up to the U.S. standards is a lengthy process and this is where OISS steps in. From the moment you apply, the OISS team helps future students by answering all of their questions and concerns in order to ease the application process. International students whose native language is not English must pass an official English language skills test. OISS has started the Conversational Partner Program where students from different countries partner up to practice their English through socialization. Eastern, however, still offers conditional admission for students with less than proficient scores with the help of English as a Second Language program. We do have conversation partners. It's um, offered by our office in the fall and winter semesters. Um, we also have um, an International Student Resource Center here on campus that's um, hosted through the English as a Second Language department. Um, and they um, offer, offer conversation tables, so like during lunchtime, they have um, graduate students who are in the TESOL program who um, you know run those sorts of things so there's lots of opportunities um, I would I'd like to even think like our coffee hour is a very informal way for students to practice 
their English and that sort of thing. With this help, students are able to hone their writing, speaking, and study skills for the full academic experience. Once a student is accepted at Eastern, OISS begins the strenuous job of helping students maintaining their legal status as a student. Advisors are always monitoring students' academic standings, given that one way a student can lose status is by taking less than 12 credits per semester, not maintaining a good GPA standing, or suspension, dismissal, or other similar action. OISS goes above and beyond with students, especially when it comes to making them feel like home. The office is filled with memorabilia from different countries that previous students have brought in. I think the biggest challenge is just acclimation. Um, you know, everyone may have English proficiency, but definitely not the American slang that we all speak here on campus or all the acronyms and everything that Americans love to use. Um, I think that's one huge thing is the language. Um, I think it's challenging to make friends. Um, I think everybody goes with good intentions, like, oh, I'm going to meet Americans and all those sorts of things. It's a lot more challenging than one would think. Um, and I think it's homesickness as well. And even missing your food, your favorite foods and all that sort of thing from home. Um, we live in a great area where there's a lot of options. Um, you know, there's Chinese grocery stores and Indian and all those sorts of things. But it's always not always easy to find your specific favorite ingredients or you know whatever mom makes at home. Making sure that all new students integrate in the community, OISS creates All-American events for them to enjoy, such as a trip to Birchrun to purchase winter gear, visiting the Apple Orchards, and most importantly, Detroit Tigers games. Through the numerous amounts of visits students make throughout the semester to the OISS offices, a little community is created here at EMU. All international students have the one thing in common, they all miss home. Through OISS, the International Student Association was created in order to give international students a place to congregate and feel at home together and discuss the daily struggles of adjusting to a new community. The integration process also includes helping the Eastern community learn about other cultures. The ISA hosts the Colors of Harmony. All international students are invited to sing, dance, play an instrument, model clothes, or do anything else from their native culture on stage. This not only shows off experiences from many different cultures, but brings them all together in one place. Under the OISS umbrella, the ISA has helped students create their own student organizations, such as the Saudi Student Association and the Indian Student Association. The Indian Student Association celebrated the Holy Festival right here on campus with their own version in the volleyball court. The Holi Festival is a spring tradition and celebrates the Festival of Colors, also known as the Festival of Sharing Love, where many people gather together and throw colored powder and water balloons at each other. In some areas, friends and relatives exchange gifts, sweets, and greetings on this day in honor of the festival and good fellowship. Traditionally, it is a day that celebrates the triumph of good over evil and bridges the social gap. When the colors go flying, it does not matter what age, gender, or social class someone is. Everyone is fair game. The whole point is to go wild with the colors and have a good time. All Eastern students are open to participate and experience something new from outside their culture. It ends up being a fun learning event for everyone. ISA makes sure that every student has a great time while living abroad. Another unique event that was made for ISA students was the celebration for Valentine's Day in which the International Student Association filled room 310 in the Student Center with red and pink balloons. And there's always a handful of students that really step out and go beyond their own community and that's challenging because it's comfortable to hang out with people who know your culture, your language and that sort of thing. And we just always have just that handful of students who are always involved with our office, helping out with orientation. Um, showing up to events and inviting others, um, reaching out to students who may be, um, that they see that are maybe a little bit lonely or having a hard time adjusting. Eastern Michigan University is the home to many students and the international community couldn't be happier with their new home that has welcomed them with open arms. where students from different countries partner up to practice their English through socialization. Did you say socialization? Yeah, did you say socialization? That's what it's written there. 
where students from different countries partner up to practice their English through socialization. <laughs> <laughs> Where students from different countries partner up to practice their English through socialization. <laughs> so, socialization. Socialization. International students whose native language is not English must pass an official English language. <laughs> Did you? you? <laughs> <laughs> are able to hone their writing, speaking, and studying skills for the full academic experience. Samantha, what, what the fuck? <laughs> Socialization and I couldn't stop myself, I'm sorry. <laughs>